Welcome to Master Chef Junior. In this edition, we are going to cook sushi. Okay, are you ready? Come with me. For the rice, this is the material and the ingredients that we need. We need a pot, a dish, a colander, a glass, cup, a spoon and sushi rice, of course, vinegar, rice vinegar, two spoons of sugar and a little bit of salt. Okay, we have one cup of sushi rice and we put on the colander and we wash the rice with running water until the water is clean so you move the rice and wash it Once we have the rice washed, we put the rice in a pot. And we add one cup and a little more. Two cups one and a half of water we close the pot and we make it boil don't touch when it starts to boil the water you open a little bit but don't remove don't don't remove it and don't move the rice. Uh, after start boiling, leave the rice 14, 16 minutes uh, cooking. Okay, while the rice is cooking, we're going to mix the other ingredients. We need two spoons of rice vinegar, two spoons of sugar, and salt. And we mix it. Till everything is done. Once we have the rice cooked with a wooden spoon, we spread with care on a dish. Mmm, smells good. You remember we have in a glass um, rice vinegar, salt and sugar. We dissolve the sugar on the salt and we pour it onto the rice and we mix softly. When you mix the rice and the vinegar, you leave it outside the fridge, no inside, outside, and to let it cook. 
cool down, okay? Now that the rice is cool, we are ready to prepare the rolls, okay? Are you ready? These are the materials and the ingredients that we are going to use. Okay, we need a plastic wrap, a bamboo mat, the rice with a wooden spoon, a little bit of water, seaweed sheets or nori sheets, and we have here different ingredients. You can use what you like. We're going to do one roll of avocado cheese and smoked salmon. Another one of tomato, mango and cucumber. And the last one, anchovies, tuna and black olives. Okay, we display the bamboo mat and on it we put the plastic wrap and then we take one seaweed sheet and we put the shiny part face down then you take rice and put on it You put your fingers in the water glass and you spray with them. Take care and leave one centimeter on the top free just to stick and close the roll. I need a little bit more. And when you cover all the sheet, then you take your ingredients. In this case, we're going to put the smoked salmon in a line and I think it's enough. And then the cheese, it's better to use a uh, cream cheese, but I don't have right now. So I'm going to use this one. And when you finish, you put some avocado slices on it. And now it's time to roll. Please tie the roll, help with the bamboo sheet and the and the, your hands and close tightly, okay? As you see, little by little and press. To make sure that the roll is well done. When you are finishing it, remove the the rice, and when you are finishing, you put the your fingers in the water and stick the seaweed sheet like a stamp. Press with the bamboo mat and it's done. Okay? We're going to do the second one. You prepare the mat 
and the plastic wrap. And we're going to prepare the second one. You spread the rice. Don't use a lot of rice because if not, you are not going to be able to close the roll, okay? Mm, a little bit here. And now we are ready to do the second one. In this case, we are going to use, you remember, mango, tomato and cucumber. So we put the uh, mango slices. And then the cucumber. And to give a different color and a different flavor, you display the tomato. When you're ready, you roll the bamboo mat again, press, press to make sure the roll is well done. Remove the rice you don't need and finally you use your fingers, put them in water and again stick it like a stamp. We remove the plastic wrap and the second roll is done. Now just the last roll, sushi roll. Be sure that the shiny part is face down. We repeat this, the action. You spread the rice. As you see, with one cup of rice, you have at least four, three rolls, okay? Once you have the rice ready, we're going to take the last ingredients. We have tuna and then we have mm, anchovies and we have black olives that we cut it before and we display them on the anchovies. When you are ready, you know that you must wash your hands several times. And when you are ready, you roll it. Be careful, slowly, slowly, wow. Remove the rice, put some water 
on the seaweed sheet and we are going to close the last sushi roll It's done. Perfect, no? And finally, we are ready for the last step. We have the three raw sushi rolls. We have a cutting table and a sharp knife and we have soy sauce wasabi mm, really spicy and ginger and of course the chopsticks to eat sushi okay we are ready One sushi roll and with the sharp knife, be careful, eh? You cut the, the beginning of the roll that is not, not very beautiful, and you cut the roll into slices, soft and slow. slices of each roll to see the, the final product, the same, we cut the outside part because it's not very beautiful and we cut three slices, be careful, do it slowly and take care of the knife. We take the third sushi roll to remove this part and now we cut the slices carefully. As you see in the beach, everything is ordered, everything is clean and beautiful. So we can take our chop sticks, we take one slice of sushi, Ready to eat. Mm. 